first of all, we want to thank you for your time and the interview, that we have the opportunity nice to, to talk to you. you. Thank you to very much. You. Our interview is about the international student life in Honingen and mm -hmm. how international the city is. So at first, we want to take a few steps back in the history and talk mm -hmm. about um, the development. During my uh, student life, uh, so in the 80s, uh, uh, studying uh, wasn't uh, as international as, as it is now. Uh, I mean, much has changed since then. Um, I mean, 10% of our students are from abroad at this moment, and it wasn't uh, when I was a student only uh, some 20, 25 years ago. Uh, 25. Yeah, I think <laughs> it is like that. <laughs> um, so uh, there is a, a very rapid, has been a very rapid development. Um, and so what, as I told you, 10% uh, uh, is from abroad, is internationally now, um, of which, uh, of course, uh, for, for example, we have uh, some 500 Chinese students now already. Uh, I remember when I was a student, uh, uh, I was living in a house and it was another guy, he was from Germany. Um, and it was quite exceptional to have a student uh, from abroad. I mean, it's not, it wasn't as usual as it is now. Now it's so familiar already. You know? So uh, this is from the last years, I think, uh, in, not only in Groningen. And beside the point of the globalization, what is the reason why Groningen is so international? Do you have an explanation? Um, I think uh, university um, uh, thinks it's very important uh, to attract uh, international students. Um, and I think international students uh, do know now already uh, how uh, nice uh, the city of Groningen is. It's uh, not the, the biggest uh, city within the Netherlands, but uh, it is a, a bigger city. But uh, it's like a town as well. I mean, when you go out for a beer, you're meeting, your, you, you, you will be able to meet your friends. I mean, you're not losing your way. Um, so, um, and uh, uh, I think international students do know uh, what, what uh, students from the Netherlands know. Um, it, it's a very, uh, as, we, as we say, a, a cozy city. I mean, uh, there is a student life uh, uh, and, uh, with, with sports, culture, uh, all everything is 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 in here is is here uh, present here so that's that's uh, what what they know as well I think. Okay, and would you um, choose Honingen if you could be an international student again? I would again, <laughs> although I am from the Netherlands, mm. so of course I wouldn't choose for Groningen. I would, <laughs> I, I would love to uh, do my study uh, in, for example, the United States, uh, but. Uh, we didn't have the, uh, the chances uh, people and, and younger people do have now. Uh, so actually I'm a little jealous, uh, but I had my time afterwards and I had my chances to, to travel and to meet uh, people from other countries and it's so interesting and I mean you're learning so very much. Um, and I think what we realize is uh, you need to uh, speak other languages as well, and that should uh, happen uh, wi within uh, university life as well. I mean, I worked for the Minister uh, of Education and Science in the 90s, and he stressed, uh, Mr. Ritson, that it was really important to speak English uh, at universities, at Dutch, Dutch universities. So we, we do so very, quite a long time already. And in your perspective, back to the international students and the community, um, how can a mayor handle that rising number of students? And how can you react on that and work with it? Oh, um, I, 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 we can handle. Uh, and uh, we like ha to have all those younger people from other countries as well here within our city. Of course, there are, there is some there are some problems uh, uh, between uh, students, Dutch students as well, and and uh, the other people from from uh, from town. But they are making our city. Uh, all those students we have f 
50,000 uh, of some 200,000 200, uh, uh, people living here in this, within the city. So uh, we know and we realize that, that of course with some troubles, sometimes, <laughs> Uh, because students do live another life, I mean, uh, some of them are not living their lives uh, by day, <laughs> but by night. And uh, that, that's, of course, there are uh, differences in, in living your life, uh, but we do know, we need them, and, and they are very welcome. So we can sum up that the international students enrich the city? They really enrich our city. And I think we have the facilities uh, to invite them. And, and to have them here, uh, I mean, uh, we, we knew, uh, I think, in quite an early uh, stadium, uh, we, we needed to, uh, to facilitate uh, as well. And I think we did. Okay, and don't you think that they could miss something here? will miss their family, uh, but mm. when you think <laughs> you will miss them too much, then don't be an international student. But when you are interested in uh, meeting other people uh, with other cultures, other uh, interests, um, then Groningen is a very interesting city, I think, to you, because it is, uh, for example, very near to other countries uh, as well. I mean, we live only half an hour here from, uh, uh, from Germany. Uh, so if you want to pass uh, the border and you want to travel again to other countries uh, as an international student. You have uh, the possibility here. And when you come here for a um, whole study, then you have to pay a lot of money because the studies are more expensive than in other mm -hmm. countries, for example. Can you um, give us an overview how you invest or you and the uh, city invest the money in the international student community? Do they have something from their money in the city? Yeah, um, for example, we work closely together as a uh, city of Groningen, together with uh, the universities, both the universities, so the University of Applied Sciences as well, together with the, the academic hospital. Uh, so we are investing the money again, and I don't think we are the most ex expensive uh, city or uh, country to, to study or as an international student, because we know, for example, people from Britain do come here now because uh, it's uh, cheaper for them to sometimes to have their studies here and to have uh, the quality as well um, they want and they look for. And do you invest it for something what we can really see in the streets when we are walking through the streets of Groningen? Can we see something what happens with the money? For yeah, example? just see around and see culture uh, for example uh, I mean this is a that is interesting to tell it is the youngest city of the Netherlands because of all those students so um, culture is very important here and, and we uh, with budgets cuts at, the, at this moment we are still investing as local government uh, and uh, I think we have some a very interesting uh, cultural life to provide, especially to younger people. Uh, tomorrow, for example, uh, Noorderslag uh, Eurosonic starts again. It's, it's, it's one of the biggest events on uh, pop music. Uh, so all the people all over the world come to Groningen because they know it is a young city with a cultural life interesting to younger people. For example, uh, for those who are interested in uh, pop music. Okay, and we are all international students as well, so we were a bit confused when we were walking through the streets because all traffic sciences and explanations are in Dutch, and we are not able to oh, understand no, or imagine. speak Dutch. I can so imagine. Although why don't we you use many symbols as yeah. well, um, but um, imagine we should use all those languages. Of uh, all those students we we have, uh, and, and they are very welcome, but you're right, we should use uh, symbols even more than we do now, instead of uh, language. 
Yeah, or we'll just um, use English but language. For example, Why don't we you have focus? websites in English? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we are uh, trying to 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 talk to you in a in a language you can understand and you speak. And are there any other plans for the future? For example, to make um, the city more in the English language, for example. Yeah, we 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 should make more of those plans. I I, I realize now. I mean, as I said, we we are providing websites and and courses in English, but still. Uh, but that is interesting. Yeah, I, I mean, I all know those. All know, I know all those students who are trying to speak some Dutch as well, are, are interested in it. We have a dialect here. Um, some of them are even interested uh, in, the, in the dialect some of the people are speaking here. So, OK, you're right, but <laughs> maybe good to have a chance to, to speak some Dutch as well okay. and to learn some Dutch. Yeah, and um, yeah. last but not least, you have the opportunity because we talk to you as the international students and if you want, you can look in the camera and say at least some nice regards to the student. You're very welcome in Groningen. I think it's the city to, to do your uh, study uh, within the Netherlands, to, to, to go, to come, and you're very welcome, as I said. Uh, and to visit us and to stay here for a few years, we, we do appreciate. So please uh, feel welcome to come to Groningen, uh, the youngest city of the Netherlands. Uh, you will have the time of your life. Thank you very much. Okay.